I want to talk to you about a product that I discovered online and it has a lot to do with this. This is my Panasonic GH2 and even though I'm filming this in 2015 this thing is still a workhorse for me in terms of shooting video. The other thing I really like to use when I'm shooting things at a distance is this 100 to 300 millimeter Lumix lens. Now it's a pretty slow lens but frankly it racks out to the equivalent of 600 millimeters and um, it's pretty lightweight. The only problem you have with this is that if you're attaching it to your GH2 which is a fairly lightweight camera body and then you decide that you want to mount this to a tripod the only way you can mount this to a tripod is to mount it via the body itself. And as you can imagine, that becomes a pretty unwieldy situation that you have going on here because the lens itself makes up a significant chunk of the entire mass of the body and, and camera lens combination. And it puts a lot of stress on this lens mount, right? Despite the fact that this lens mount is metal, it still is going to cantilever significantly away from the body, particularly if this is mounted on a tripod. So wouldn't it be great if Panasonic had designed this 100 to 300 millimeter lens much like Canon designed this. This here is a Canon 200 millimeter f2.8. It's a much heavier lens than the 100 to 300 millimeter lens that is made by um, Lumix or Panasonic. Um, and you will notice that very importantly, it has one of these things, which is a tripod collar. So that means that the weight is distributed much better when this thing is being used on a tripod because the weight now is balanced. It's going to be attached somewhere along where this foot is here. You have the camera body, which would attach up here, and therefore the center of balance is going to be somewhere underneath this tripod collar, and none of the stress will be on the, um, the lens mount on the camera body, which is a good thing. You want to avoid putting a lot of stress on that. More importantly, it makes it much easier to handle. When, you're, when this is mounted on a ball head, it becomes a much more balanced action you're not going to have the vibrations that typically you have associated with um, using a camera body with a heavy lens attached to it on the front. Um, so overall your image quality is going to improve vastly when you have something like a tripod collar like you see right here. So what do you do? Obviously this doesn't have a tripod collar and yet it really could use a tripod collar. Well it just so happens that there's a company out of Germany that makes an aftermarket tripod collar that fits in around this area of the lens barrel and does just what it is that I want it to. So here it is. This is the tripod collar, aftermarket tripod collar, and you'll notice that it's uh, the company is www.r-roesch.de. And if you go to that website, you'll see the method by which you need to get yourself one of these things. They're under $100, well worth it in my mind in terms of the improvement in the handling and then therefore the image quality associated with the Lumix 100 to 300 millimeter lens. The one thing I want you to note about this is that it's all aluminum construction and it's made to very fine tolerances as only Germans can do. And it's really a well-made anodized aluminum, really well made, fits perfectly around the lens barrel of the, uh, the 100 to 300 millimeter lens. I have great confidence in this thing. It's so well put together. And I guarantee you that it'll last just as long as my lens will last, which hopefully will be pretty much forever. Okay, so really nice piece of workmanship here. One thing I want you to notice here is that notice that there is a slight cutout that runs basically from around you know six o'clock up here to around eight o'clock. The cutout's gonna be a very important thing. And also notice that there's a channel that's dug out here, okay? Right through there, and that goes the entire, that channel goes the entire length or circumference of this ring, of this collar itself. There are also two openings, one here and one here at the top. You notice too, there's also these 
brightly finished little dots, one here and also one right here. You'll see in a moment what those are used for. Okay, so really nicely put together, well-engineered, thoughtful design. Let's take a look at how this mounts onto the camera. Now the company that makes it does recommend that you make sure that you have your end cap here on your lens, and that's the reason for that is, is smart because there's obviously element here, glass element that could be scratched in the process of you putting on this lens collar, this, so you wouldn't want to have that exposed unnecessarily. All right, so what's most important here is that the Mega OIS, the image stability switch, it is actually, you'll see here on this view, it is not flush with the camera barrel itself. It actually pops out a little bit, all right? Um, and that's gonna be important because that's where the collar is going, and it's the re reason why there's this groove that you see here. It's also the reason why it's keyed and that there's an opening here in this groove because you're going to position this so that that key will fit right over the image stabilization switch. Slides right on and then you can see it just sort of swings right in there. And it, essentially the switch is inside of a track now that's on the interior. So the switch there is important. Uh, the other thing is that these windows are very important because they give you access to the image stabilization switch, whether you're in the landscape mode or if you rotate this and put this into the portrait mode. Okay. Yep. So once I have this all set up, then I go ahead and I turn this knob right here, which tightens it down on top of the barrel. You'll also notice that this little silver mark here on the collar should line up with the red mark of the lens so that you know that it's perfectly horizontal. And don't tighten it too much because this is aluminum and the body of the lens, the lens barrel itself, is made out of plastic. So you, I could imagine that if you were a gorilla and you really wanted to crank this down, you might actually do some damage to the lens barrel. But there you have it you can see that it fits really nicely. It, it's obviously perfectly made for this lens and it does exactly what this lens collar does for my Canon lens. Same exact thing, allows for much greater functionality, particularly when you're using the uh, lens on a, um, a tripod and you wanna make as stable a shot as possible. So let's take a look and see what this looks like when mounted to my GH2. So here we have our GH2. And go ahead and made up the two little red dots. Twist it, and there you have it. Now I can hold it by the foot of the tripod collar. And you can see it, it's going to allow for much better balance because now the weight is centered around this knob relative to the camera body and the outer portions of this, uh, the lens barrel itself. And then, you know, you can rack this thing all the way out to the 300 millimeter end, and it's gonna stay much better balanced than if I had to attach the camera body and lens combination way back here, right, on my camera body. So if I were to then loosen this knob here, and I wanted to rotate the camera, so that the um, switch was still accessible. Obviously, I'd have to rotate it in this direction, right? So that there, my window shows up there, okay? You'll also notice that they've provided another little uh, marking point here so you know exactly when you're in perfect vertical orientation. And then you can go ahead and tighten the knob up. So that gives me access to my on-off switch, which is important because if I do want to mount this, which ultimately you you would if you're on a tripod. If you're on a mono monopod, you're gonna leave on the OIS, but if you're on a tripod, you wanna turn off OIS for the most part. But notice what has happened now. So I have the foot of the tripod a collar right here, right? And this thing is now oriented vertically, but my shutter button is located underneath rather than on top, as I typically, or as in most how most of these things are designed. The other thing is you'll see here that there's very little clearance here. There is enough clearance. It's not bumping into the, the grip, but certainly it, it there does not allow you to use the grip at all. 
And you would think, well, then why didn't they design it so that it would certainly be spun the other direction? Well, I want you to watch what happens here. So if I were to rotate this to a position that would make more sense, right? And this would be such that I would have the shutter release up top when this thing is mounted on a tripod. You know, it makes it a lot easier to access and you can actually hold on to the grip more readily when you have the um, shutter release on the top. The problem with this design, however, is that, it, oh, I'm not designed, with this option, is that now that switch would be located essentially where the foot is attached to the collar itself. So you would have no ability to access the switch ahead of time. What you would really need to do is, knowing that you're going to be going uh, into a tripod mode, you would probably be best served to go ahead and switch it off and then rotate it down and I really think that you really, it makes much more sense to have the, um, the portrait orientation set up like this where the shutter button is on the top relative to the tripod itself. I hope that's clear what I'm trying to say there. Um, and it's really not anything against the design of this tripod collar as much as there are limitations associated with where Panasonic decided to put that switch and the use of a tripod collar. I think it's well worth having a tripod collar um, to deal with that minor little headache of having to um, turn the camera, uh, the, turn the OIS off before you go to vertical orientation. So overall, I would highly recommend this excellent, well-manufactured uh, tripod collar. It's inexpensive. Like I said, it was well under $100, that, which included the shipping. Um, and uh, I think it makes this a uh, much more functional lens because you can stabilize it much more readily on a tripod. And, uh, and in fact, even when I'm hand holding this, it, uh, as, as always is the case whenever I use these tripod collars, I love being able to grip onto that tripod collar and hold onto it as I'm uh, framing a shot. It just makes it feel like it's a much more stable situation to grab onto it right here.